And as always, my favorite thing to do is to soak up the rusty balls with, the, with penetrating oils. Just like that. Welcome to another Xero video where I walk on my truck. Sometimes I'm successful, sometimes I'm not. So on today's video we're gonna tackle one issue that my truck developed recently and what happened is the truck is pretty old right so whenever I drive and I come to a stop to a traffic light or anything and I just stand there and idle I feel a lot of vibration going on through the truck and what happened is that the engine mounts what well, I hope it is the issue of course the engine mounts are all wearing out so that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna try to lift up the engine slightly remove the old engine mounts and put a new one in there to our job we're gonna need the jack with a piece of wood you'll know why in a minute we're gonna need some long extensions about 24 inches in total we're gonna need like a breaker bar or you can use probably a, a ratchet but i picked up this because i just needed it and uh, i know it's gonna come handy we're gonna need a 17 millimeter socket and a 14 millimeter socket and i might gonna need these two adapters and of course i went ahead and i ordered some parts online so let's open it up got some paperwork here that's not important <laughs> and there we go we have our two brand new parts in here and actually the third part is actually a transmission mount which we're not gonna do today it's gonna be for our next video so this is our new two brand new parts um there was a lot of debate before I bought it should I go for original from Nissan which are like about 100 to 160 dollars each or should I go for aftermarket I know the original lasted me almost 14 years because the truck is 14 years old but from what I feel and from what I read these parts are pretty good as well and I know a few guys who's doing a engine swap right now they put in a V8 engine and they put in these engine mounts so if they're doing this I should be fine let's open this up just to take a quick look this looks like some heavy duty stuff so it should work we're gonna loosen up all the bolts we have to loosen up three bolts on the bottom on this side three bolts on the bottom on this side and then there is two bolts per each side which might kind of be tricky to get into and then there's two bolts over here on the driver's side there's one over there and, and another one right there i hope you guys can see that the driver's side is kind of easier to do now the passenger side is a little bit more tricky one bolt is right there but another bolt is kind of hidden over there behind the heat shield so hopefully we can get to it no problem but yeah that's what we have to unscrew and as always they look a bit rusty so we're gonna have to put the jack underneath of the truck right uh, under the oil can because that's where we're gonna be supporting the, our engine we're gonna put a little piece of wood over here gotta make sure it's even and that's where we're gonna use to lift the engine up slightly and don't worry it it shouldn't it shouldn't crush it so now that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna lift it up slightly just to have it on support and then we're gonna start loosening up all the bolts just like that for now not to put too much pressure but just to have it in place and okay now just for just recording purposes i'm gonna start with the passenger side so as you can see we're here on the right that big ball over there we have to unscrew that one and then there is those two we have to undo those two bolts as well now on the passenger side this is pretty much easy access over here on the driver's side over here we have a, our front differential which is right below of all of that and it's blocking access to those two screws in the back so i still have to figure out how i'm gonna unscrew that but i guess we'll we'll cross that bridge once we get there so we have to unscrew these three bolts over here and then from the top from the top we have to unscrew this one and that one over there so 
Uh, I'm gonna try to record as much as I can. It's kind of hard to even work over here, let alone record, but I'll do my best to to show all of it. Okay, let's try to break loose those two bolts first. Okay, that's one. Let's try to do the other one. Okay, not too bad. Now I'm gonna switch to 17. That was a 14 millimeter. Now I'm gonna switch to 17 millimeter to undo this bolt over here. And I apologize for the angles, recording angles, but hopefully you can still see what's happening over there. Okay, now we undo this one, which is a 17 millimeter. And this is a very long screw. Okay. Okay, there is some movement to it. I tried to put a rust breaker for a few days, so hopefully it's fine. Now we're gonna go and try to undo it from the other side and from the top. So now we're on top on the passenger side and all the way down there. There is not even a room to get a camera in there, but there is two bolts in there. And there is our first 17 millimeter bolt that we have to unscrew I'm Sorry guys again, it's very tight in here even for me to see what I'm doing let alone to record Wow, that's a lot of Has a lot of resistance to it and I have And I have a big breaker bar over here. I don't want to break the screw now just for recording purposes I'm gonna shift to the top of a driver's side because over here we can have a easier access and see the bolts. So down here, this is gonna be our one 17 millimeter bolt that we have to unscrew. And then to the right of it is the second bolt that we have to unscrew, which are both 17 millimeter. So I'm gonna try to loosen them up for us. And I'm using a big breaker bar. So hopefully it's all gonna be all right. Wow, they don't want to budge in. Those bolts don't want to budge in. I have the same issue right now on the passenger side. I can't break them free yet. I put some uh, BB blaster, but no bueno. <laughs> All right, we got some kind of movement, hopefully. It's uh, we broke it loose and not we just broke it. Now I'm gonna do the second side over here. A lot of stuff in the way, a lot of hoses and whatnot. You gotta make sure it's all the way on the bolt. Now let's try to spin it. Okay, let's try to do this again. I just put a lot of, I put a lot of uh, PB rust breaker whatever the calls let it soak for a little bit let's see if we can break it loose now <sighs> wow this one has a lot of resistance that I don't want to break loose I already broke loose uh, two on the passenger side, so those we can unscrew easy. And basically right now we just have one, this bolt on the driver's side, the one over there, unscrew. And then of course the driver's side, the bolts underneath, I have to still unscrew those. When I break them all loose, then I'm gonna start taking it out completely. Right, we got that one too. Right now I'm using the long 3/8 extension with a with a swiggly thing at the end to get the right angle over there. The need the one I need, and I'm trying to go between the engine and the 
front differential to undo the two screws on this side that I show you there so hopefully we can break them loose Wow Very tight my friends very tight. Okay, so I got a breaker bar Let's see if we can manage to do anything with this breaker bar All right, I hit my head, but that's all right <laughs> The important part we got the screw out This is the last bolt over there that we have to undo make sure we can break them all loose and then we can start unscrewing them completely so wish me luck <laughs> I know I'm probably blocking half of the view let me see if I can move the camera over here maybe okay I'm try to get some leverage over here Okay, choo, 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 choo. let's see, I'm gonna do it the other way around And as always, whenever you work under a truck Make sure you wear protective eyewear <laughs> Alright, okay, this should be better <sighs> Okay, come on <laughs> All right, all right, we got something guys, yep, we definitely got something, this is not easy, let me tell you guys, the thing is, first of all, I have this, in a way, the front differential is blocking access to all the screws, and the, the thing that it's all rusted, it doesn't really help me much, but I believe that was the last screw, so now, we can try to unscrew them all completely and okay guys now we're gonna completely remove the four bolts on top which are two bolts on each side on the driver and the passenger and and then we're gonna move down all right i think we got one out let me let me see if we can pull it out straight from here Maybe I don't have to go underneath Or gate or try to get a magnet or something See if it's... Oh, yeah, it came out, but we unfortunately dropped it right there So let me try to get a magnet So I have this long extended magnet It comes handy sometimes So There we go And and here is our screw, a little bit rusty, but hopefully still be alright. So now I'm just gonna repeat the process for the other three remaining bolts, and we take it from there. All right, now we're on the driver's side underneath, so we're gonna undo this bolt completely now, carefully. Gotta make sure that we are supporting the engine now with a jack, and yeah. So we undo this bolt, and then we have another two bolts over here and just gotta be very careful and just keep an eye on the engine if you see it's going down you gotta do something about it <laughs> just gotta make sure it's been supported by the by the jack but so far so good but as always be please very careful if you were to do this and this is a very long pole like i said i feel like it's coming out by hand now try to take it out there we go we got it out guys it's not too bad not too bad of a looking bolt and okay now we're gonna work on the passenger side and hopefully there is a better view of this bolt over here so this is the bolt we have to undo as well and just keep an eye on the engine make sure it doesn't drop down on you or anything of that of that solder. So now we're just gonna carefully undo those two bolts over there 
and then we can remove the long bolt so now it's a very tricky part that the engine is the only thing is holding the engine is a jack so hopefully it's all good all right that's one bolt out okay just gonna put it on the side let's get the second bolt all right and now let's see if we can undo the this long bolt So this is the last bolt we unscrewing and I believe after that there is nothing that's supporting the engine. So please be very careful if you were to attempt this. All right. And we got this long bolt out as well. This one was very hard to unscrew for some reason, I don't know why. But hopefully we still have everything how it's supposed to be. Okay, let's take it out carefully. It looks fine. All right, let's see if we can remove this now. If we can remove this and put a new one there, so we have already something in place. I already lift up the engine slightly, so hopefully this is gonna come out with no issues. Just watch your fingers and just be careful, you know, just use your common sense. Probably we gotta, we have to undo the other two bolts on the other side so we can lift up the whole engine even from both sides so we have more access because it's still a little bit too tight. If you can notice, it's still a little bit too tight. I don't think I'm gonna be able to take it out just like that. So let's leave it in place and let's move to the other side. All the bolts are out. Nothing is holding it anymore. Only the jack is holding the, the engine now. So now hopefully we can remove these uh, things holding up the engine. I lift up the engine slightly. Hopefully that's enough of the room over there to, to pull these things out. All right, just be careful, it's a lot of debris on it. All right, so the first mount is out. And okay, finally, we were able to get out the, this is the passenger side. It looks, it, it looks old and rusty. So let's take out the new one and just compare them. Hopefully they're the same. Hopefully all of that work was not for it in vain and if we look side by side we can do it like that side by side old new rusty new looks good to me so not gonna waste any more time just gonna put the new one in there real quick because like i said just uh jack is holding up the the engine now so i'm kind of worried so but hopefully, yeah, hopefully this is all going to be good. So let's get under there again. Okay, now let's carefully put the new one in place. All right, that seems about right. Now let's put this little rusty plate in place as well. Just watch your fingers, watch the jack, watch the engine, watch everything. All right. So this is something like that. So now we can now we can even put a couple of screws in just to be on the safe side and we can and then we can move to the other side and try to replace the one in there as well. Okay, now I'm actually going to put a, this bracket and the long screw in. Just to be on the safe side, hopefully we're gonna catch the threads there right away of the engine, which I kind of doubt. Okay, just gonna have to align like few holes 
but I just want to have this in place for some reason. This is not the most easiest job to do, especially lying on the ground and have a very limited access. But as you can see, I got some threads over there, so that's that's not too bad. Now let's see if I can catch the other two screws over here, maybe just to have them just to have them in place somewhat. There we go. Why I didn't do this before, guys? <laughs> Okay, that's one, now I'm gonna put the second one just, it's not gonna be tight yet or anything, just, just to be in place a little bit, there we go, alright, now let's move to the other side and replace it on the, on the other side, <laughs> and alright, let's slide the new engine mount in place, okay, Almost got it in there. Whew. All right. I think it's in place. I think it's in place. All right. Now we're going to put this rusty bracket that was on top. And just going to carefully start putting all the screws back in place. All right. We got that in place. It's all aligned up there. Now let's see if we can put this bracket in place and put at least a long screw in oh drop the long screw still gotta align all the holes probably should tighten up the top two screws just to, to hold the bracket in place all right guys i'm gonna go and tighten up the two screws on top so i tighten up the two screws on top which are holding the bracket in place now now we can secure this bracket with a long screw I think that's the best way to do it and basically I didn't record the top procedure but it's basically a reverse procedure of what we we're doing before they're not completely tight yet so we still have to address that but first I have to line up this bracket and hopefully and hopefully we can catch the threads on the engine <laughs> all right now that we have both new engine mounts in place i'm gonna slowly very little lower down the engine not all the way just a little bit gonna release some uh, pressure so we can start screwing the bolts and putting it where they're supposed to be and then we'll make them tight just a little bit okay gonna be doing a little bit at a time so now we can start aligning everything so as you can see I already have one bolt in place over there uh, right there and then another bolt is over there so that the top two bolt holding the new engine mount in place now we have to just align this long bolt to go through that to secure to the engine so that's what I want to do right now. I have to align this a little bit. This keeps moving all over the place. Alright, that should be good over there. Now I'm actually going to lower down the engine a little bit more. Alright, let's see how that's going to be. We still have some we still have some gap, some room over there. It's still suspended in the air, but let's check the other side. And that one is still a lot in the air, so we can we can lower it down a lot, down more. All right, let's work with that actually now. Okay, okay, we still have some room to play, but let's see if we can start tightening up more screws over here. And okay guys, as you can see, I'm slowly tightening up all the bolts. I already did the two bolts over there, behind the front differential, Whew. for which I used this uh, three quarter, with uh, that swivel thing that one was saying. So it just goes in between and 
little by little I was able to make it tight so now I'm doing this the 17 millimeter long bolt over here and this side is gonna be pretty much done then I just have to move to the driver's side and tighten everything up over there unfortunately I'm not recording as much of this because uh, it's kind of hard to see anyways what I'm doing so but you get the idea right hopefully hopefully you're getting the idea all right I'm still gonna come back to that and make it make sure it's all tight so now I'm gonna go to the left side all right now we're just tightening up the top screws again the trick over here is to kind of put the old screws in place but very loose and then tighten up the three screws on the bottom because then the engine is going to be resting over there on the bracket hopefully you guys can see it and then we tighten up the top two screws two bolts so yeah that's what i'm gonna do right now and that's one and then the second one and once the bottom all bottom screws are tightened up with a long screw you can lower the engine back to original place where it was and then tighten up the top screws you can lower the engine completely it's already not going to go anywhere so it's already in place and we can take the jack out completely there we go and I just put it on the side so now I'm just gonna come back with a breaker bar and just tighten up all the bolts as best as my judgment I believe they're supposed to be 87 pounds full of torque of course I'm gonna put the in description how much they were supposed to be but I'm just gonna use my best judgment as to what I feel is about 75 feet of pounds so yeah but of course in anybody else's case it's better to use a torque wrench right guys after a few hours of work and some elbow grease but it was a lot of fun it's quite a project let me tell you that if you don't feel comfortable doing that i would rather suggest just take it to a mechanic uh, but then again who knows how much they're gonna charge you for that in a matter of fact on during the week i'm gonna call up a few places to find out how much they were gonna charge me for that if if they were to do it i'm very interested and i'm gonna add it to the video over here but for me it cost me only the parts which was not that whole a lot and the labor which i enjoy doing it was a little bit i'm not gonna say it a little bit scary you just have to be confident and just do it everything carefully and yeah it's all doable but i'm glad that this got all removed and replaced for brand new ones this is all all bad and this is a driver's side and if you can see over here you see yeah so this yeah i'm glad i was able to do it of course if you have a front differential you're gonna need something like this to get to the two bottom screws and of course you're gonna need this long extension to get to the screws from the top and all of these parts all of these tools including this magnet in case you drop it all of this i actually picked up from harbor free it was pretty cheap but it gets the job done so yeah guys it's like i said it's a bit of a project it requires a little bit of uh, effort gotta pull your muscles into it but it's all doable but i'm glad i was able to get it done now i'm just gonna take it for a ride and to see if i notice any improvement in the engine if it's not gonna be shaken or anything and all right guys all the work is done we took it for test drive and it worked good much much better than it was before i don't hear that so much of a rattling that we had before so yeah half of a day well spent as always i'm pretty happy i'm glad that i was able to get the work done by myself without taking it to mechanics or anything i'm gonna try to post uh, add the text how much how much they would be charging me in mechanic shops but yeah so it's doable it takes a little bit of effort and you have to be confident but yeah it's doable so on this note i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you might find it helpful and on this note until next time everybody bye